Happy Tuesday, everybody. July 11th, 7-Eleven. Free Slurpee Day at 7-Eleven. I had never gotten one of those before, but apparently it's been an ongoing tradition that some people do partake in. I only get like I only get Slurpees on really, really, really hot days where uh, you know you got to mow the lawn or some, do some outdoor work and stuff like that. Slurpees are nice to have. Um, but anyway, uh, this morning woke up, didn't really necessarily sleep too well last night, but I just got up anyway, uh, crushed my 750 push-ups, uh, did my curls, and with resistance bands. And I decided to, if you haven't noticed, it's really bright out this morning. And so I decided to go out and run this morning. I decided to get out and just, you know, catch the sunrise. And went out, ran three miles, came back, hopped in the shower, left for work early. It's just one of those days where, you know, planning ahead and just not making an excuse to dilly-dally and plan your phone and scroll through your social media apps and all that it's just you know just going forward with what you know you have to do and you know what hey I might want to get out and run today it's only going to take me this amount of time I can still fit it in so I that's what I did I feel great um, I can tell you honestly that I'm going to sleep really well tonight uh, I'm going to be tired for sure um, but yeah things are going going pretty well uh, you know it's been uh it's been one of those just like months I guess where it's uh, you know I've been I've been staying on top of like my personal things uh, with, in regards to workouts and and um, and eating healthy but um, there are some things that I do need to work on as, as a human being and a man and as a father and as a significant other that I just need to work on and you know I just I just find myself knowing that, you know, you could have done this better. You could have made a better decision. You know, just I find myself still catching um, my myself at times saying, you know, these decisions aren't the greatest. You know, you should be making better decisions because it's not about you. It's about your family. It's about your, you know, your significant other, about your daughter. And I just need to make better decisions. And uh, I'm in the wrong, you know. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm wrong, and there are just times when I make poor decisions, and, you know, I'm not perfect, nor do I come off or try to be or pose that way, I, because I'm not. I think that my faults make me who I am, and, you know, I, I, I grow from them, because when you realize you have faults and things that, that you need to work on, you strive to overcome those and to improve yourself every single day. And I do have days where it's just, you know, the whole day starts off with, um, you know, a, a, a bad decision or not, not the greatest decision. And it just kind of carries on throughout the day. And, or it's a behavioral thing or something like that. It's just, you know, one thing after the other. It's just it's a string of unfortunate bad decisions or just um, poor I guess mental execution on my behalf, but um, I do strive to get better. Today, I today will be a lot better. I know for sure. Uh, I woke up on the right side of the bed, and um, I feel good. I managed to get a run in. I think you know, I can't tell you how therapeutic running is. It's not, you know. People say I've heard people say, well, running doesn't look like it's much fun. It it looks like you don't see people running smiling. It's, uh, you know, it's tough on the knees, tough on the joints, you know, it, it uh, really wears you down, yada, 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 but as much as it does, I do feel it after I run, I do feel a little bit of pain sometimes, but I think because of the fact I don't get out and hike as much as I used to, and I, I, I really miss it though. I just, uh, you know, my girlfriend keeps telling me, she goes, you need to get out and just go do what you love and get a day out in the, in the, in the wilderness and just find, you know, find that balance again, you know, because it's, I do notice that there are times in, in my life where I feel out of balance, you know, like a lot of people do. And being out of balance, it offsets everything else, you know, it's just, 
you're supposed to be balanced on both sides like a teeter-totter, but there are times when one side weighs significantly more than the other side, and um, other times it's a little bit more than the other side. It just throws off the whole balance. And with me, I really miss the outdoors. And um, I have found that being uh, running is sort of an urban way of fulfilling the outdoors itch that I get and I get them often and when I don't run it's uh I don't feel accomplished I guess you could say I say I get a lot of um I feel a lot better after I run and when I do run I sleep better you know my mood is a lot is greatly improved um I just make better decisions and it's 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 weird how that is that choosing to do something that a lot of people find boring and um, painful and difficult to do, I find great pleasure in it. I just, and it's not the fact that I love the way it feels, it's the way that I feel afterwards and during. And running itself has been, I've never really been much of a runner. You know, in high school I was a kid that could, I could run forever. I just, I wasn't fast, but I could keep running. My legs would never stop. I would never stop. And it wasn't until after I blew my knee out, uh, ruptured my patella tendon, that I didn't take running. Uh, when I started being able to run again, I didn't take it for granted. And so, you know, I understand that this was something that I couldn't do had I not had that surgery. And I'm thankful for the ability to run and walk without difficulty. And I just, I just found so much more of a pleasure in it. And it's there it's very therapeutic for me you know i find myself thinking about things about you know anything from recipes to things i need to accomplish at work checklists i need to make uh, things i want to buy for my daughter uh, trips i want to do with my daughter places i want to go you know you just go through all these things that you know when you're you're day in and day out you have these things that you just do you know because you're in what you call you know, you're just in a sort of cruise control, um, and you go throughout the day, and you know, sometimes you, you drive to work, and you honestly don't know how you got there, you know, because you're just in, you're just in, uh, like cruise control, you don't know how you got there, and I found that being able to run and get outdoors and work out and everything like that, that it makes you, you know, it provides that that calm, soothing, just therapeutic sense for me to think about my day, my the things I need to do, and the things that I want to accomplish. And it makes, it clears my head. It just really clears my head, puts it out, you know, gets my head above the clouds. Um, and it just, it, it really sets me straight and it balances me. Um, and this weekend, I really hope to get out and get on a hike because I, I've really been itching for it for a long time. You know, and it's just hard to do because the weekends, I just really enjoy spending time with my family. But at the same time, you need to focus on yourself. And I need to do that this weekend. That's the thing I need to do. I just need to get up early, get out, hit the trails, um, you know, take my camera with me, take some good photographs and things like that, and just find my balance again. I just, I, 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 I've just been itching for it for such a long time. And I, I, I didn't get a chance to do the enchantments because my ankle and well my ankle's feeling better now obviously I'm running but um, on flat surfaces it feels fine but I know that when I step on uneven surfaces and kind of bend it and roll it a light uh, just a little bit I can feel it so I got to be kind of hesitant and, and uh, think about how I'm going to be able to handle those uneven rocks and, uh, and trails when I'm out there so and I need to and I also need to break in my hiking boots the Hoka's the Hoka tours that I have so hey anyway uh it's it's a beautiful day out I'm excited um you know I'm not perfect I need to there's a lot of things I need to work on personally and uh one of the things I did yesterday is I came home and I turned my phone off and I just played and cooked and did whatever I had to do for like two and a half hours and I think that's that's a pretty good balance. I think that practicing turning your phone off when you get home is a good thing and only turning it on when, you know, your daughter is in bed or something like that so she's not seeing you always on it. 
So I'm going to see if I can continue doing that. Uh, sort of challenge myself in a way. Because I respond better to challenges because I'm a competitive person. That's just who I am. But um, I think that doing that will allow me to focus more time on, on the family and everything like that and keep me from distractions. Because I my phone is a huge distraction for me. I have to admit it. You know, and um, I just need to fix that. So anyway, uh, have a great Tuesday. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.